Hey, welcome to this video. In case you are selling your products at Amazon, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about account suspension. Amazon can suspend your account. And once it is suspended, you need to send a effective plan of action. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, account suspension, why this happens, how you can prevent that. And in case, if by any chance in case your account gets suspended, how you can reinstate back by writing an effective plan of action. And I'll share uh, important tips with you while drafting your own POA. So please uh, watch this video till the end. And uh, please leave your comments below in case you find this video useful. Please leave your comments below and I'll surely get back to you. So let's begin the session now. So let me switch on the screen. I'm sharing all the learnings using my mind map. In case you need a copy of this mind map, wait till the end. I'll tell you how you can get the copy of this mind map. So let's begin. Plan of action at Amazon. So I have uh, divided this section into various different forms like what and why, don't do's and all that stuff. So let's begin one after the other. First understand, why your account what is account suspension what is plan of action and why this can happen to any amazon seller so account suspension has basically divided into two parts of it one your account gets suspended secondly your asin is removed but your account is still active so first let's understand asin removal process asin can be removed from your inventory in case uh, it is found as inauthentic in case you are uh, selling something fake, in case the listing is fake. Uh, in case you are selling something restricted, your ASIN can be removed. In case any IPC, intellectual property complaint is received, again your ASIN can be removed. This is the first step, you know. All these steps may not lead to suspension of the account in case you take timely action, but this can eventually lead to the account suspension also. Then we can come on to the account suspension thing. Account suspension can happen with various reasons. So let me just close this, not first. Yeah. So account suspension can happen, but this will be a temporary suspension like seller performance targets are not met. This is a minor violation. It's a temporary hold. You can uh, send a POA and get your account back. Like in case your late dispatch rate is exceeding 4%, your uh, order defect rate is exceeding 1%, your cancellation rate is exceeding 2.5%, you are breaching the seller performance targets and your account can be suspended temporarily. Second reason of getting your accounts lost or suspended is misuse of the safe transportation policy. The safe transportation policy has a threshold limit to it. In case uh, you are receiving a lot of returns and you are uh, required to kind of raise a safety claim now and then every time you might be suspended on misuse of this particular feature. So prevent, uh, to prevent this particular uh, thing uh, to you, you know, because I'm sure if you're raising it, there might be a genuine concern to it. Uh, so my submission to you is this, that you should look forward for uh, the way you're transporting the goods, why your customers are returning that, uh, are you sending something fragile, so you need to take care, extra take care, maybe one layer extra you need to add on, because if you keep uh, receiving uh, the products back because of the transportation issues and it ex exceeds your safety limit, one, you'll not be able to claim anything. That, that's a pure loss to you because you'll not be able to claim whatever amount safety claim gives you, one. And secondly, uh, by misusing the policy or exceeding the limits, you may lose on your account. So please do a reworking on your entire packaging thing so that you have product reaches intact and this is especially this actually happens in the fragile goods you know you have you're sending some kettles and some pots so handles and all that stuff might might get break so take care of this thing so that you don't face this kind of a situation then uh, let me just close this knot yeah so then another reason by which your account gets suspended or may get suspended is intellectual uh, property you know violation if you're doing it suppose you're uh, and there's a complaint which has come to you, suspected or complaint has received IPC. So in case suppose you are in your listing written Samsung look alike mobile phone, you are actually using the name of Samsung. 
Apple compatible and all that stuff. You are using Apple Trade Pump. So please uh, do not use such, you know, words which can uh, impact anybody else's uh, property. Plus you might be using some images in case uh, you pick up an image on which there is a copyright already of some manufacturer or some company. You might lose your account. You might lose on your ASIN also. So that's one of the reasons you can lose your account. Another reason which is the most commonest and the most biggest reason of account suspension of sellers today as on date today is inauthentic. Now, inauthentic uh, is not just about, uh, uh, you know, because Amazon categorizes so many things into inauthentic category. One is like you are selling duplicate products. You are selling fake products. You are mentioning this is a Nike shoes, but you are selling a duplicate of Nike product. You are doing an offense and your account is liable to get suspended. Second thing, you might be selling something old as new. You are selling some used product. Uh, declaring them as new that's also an unauthentic complaint you're selling something unsafe like you're selling something which is expired which is harmful in nature it's again come under inauthentic complaint so you need to be very very careful then whatever you are uh, you know sharing on your uh, landing page of your product should match with what you are selling in never sell anything fake because the fake thing, the mapping thing is always a short term run. I don't want you to take a short term or shortcuts to success. Success is always long term. You need to work to achieve success. Never, never take shortcuts to success. Then let's let's close this knot now. Another you know reason why your account may get suspended is if you are manipulating reviews. In case you are buying, your staff is buying, your family is buying, you know, somewhere Amazon gets a hint that this is only your inner circle or your close circle is buying the stuff and reviewing the products as good, you might get barred or suspended. See, the better way of getting reviews is using a technique called automation of feedback. So what I can do is you can, okay, you can use this link. Just give me a moment. I'll just add here. It is rachitsethi.co slash auto feedback. Now this is one of my videos on YouTube. You can always check. I think I've, I've mentioned it here in the top section also. You can just click there. This is a way you can actually gather uh, reviews from the customer on an automation mode. You know when a customer gets the product, an auto-generated mail goes to them and uh, they can... Uh, kind of uh, take help they can they can read the mail and review your product that's one way of getting reviews second way of getting reviews is getting into influencer marketing which is an approved process from amazon itself influencer marketing is a is a process wherein uh, you take help of influencers and who will be utilizing your product and reviewing your product they will use it and they will share their genuine uh, feedback because uh, they have been doing it for many companies they have been helping many brands to scale up the operations so in case you want to learn more about uh, influencer marketing you can check out one of my blog posts which i have mentioned here you can check out this one of the blog post i mentioned in that in the description box because i don't have the link right now to pull out from a repository so you can check out a blog post of mine i'll mention the link in the description box below you can check out this link. You can read all about this process of influencer marketing. And as a brand, you can get your brand registered uh, for influencer marketing and run your first campaign. In case you need any help of uh, any any of my help, you can just type in the comment box and I'll guide you more on this. Okay. So do not uh, manipulate the review. Do not uh, encourage manipulation of reviews. Do not buy reviews. If somebody is coming to you on Facebook and saying we are selling reviews and buy don't get into all this stuff you will lose your account see the worst thing would be you can lose your account and if you lose your account you'll not be able to recover anything so better invest in automations invest in tool invest in the legitimate uh, legitimate processes to get uh, better reviews and better feedback for your products okay 
another way another reason of uh, losing your account could be a listing policy violation you are listing something which you should not be listing or which you are not authorized to list so you are uh, violating any policy in case you are listing something which is not yours brand may complain to you so many things can happen it's also one of the reasons why you can lose your account so let me just close this note also so what and why i've just shared with you in case you're finding this uh, valuable this particular video do like this video do share this video and subscribe this channel i'm uh, i'm also an e-commerce seller i've been selling for uh, uh, i'm selling on amazon and flipkart in india from 2016 and i've been uh, teaching e-commerce i've been uh, bringing more and more people into this business and helping them to really scale the business faster now the second thing i would like to know about account suspension is that don't stop it before i come to the do's of uh, you know your plan of action once if, in case you get suspended there are some don'ts which you should immediately implement immediately follow don't number 1 this is not do this is don'ts don't number 1 do not rush to press the appeal button the most of the sellers i see uh they get a suspension mail they immediately run helter skelter panicked just reach out here and there hushing up rushing up the things so don't do that you have got ample time you got 17 days from amazon to properly research the issue and respond back so do not press the appeal button do not get panic don't get panic at all this is a normal process by amazon in case they receive any complaint they have to ask you and they are giving you a lot of time for that matter so never ever panic you are selling on amazon marketplace they have got full right to ask this question from you always remember if you abuse amazon if you you know just keep abusing amazon for this thing or the other thing please remember nobody has invited you to sell on amazon you are there by your own wish when you are there on somebody else's territory suppose i give a very 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 crystal clear example you are in india you are in whatever country you are watching this video in case you travel to some other country it is not your home country you go to like you are in india you go to us you go to uae what do you do the rule book of uae you simply follow isn't it when you follow the rule book of that particular country which you are visiting because you are not a native of that country similarly this marketplace this entire system is not developed by you it is developed by amazon they give you all the terms and conditions once you sign up to become a seller with them what they expect from you is a basic minimum adherence to their marketplace policies nothing else they ask from you when you do something wrong they have got full right to take answers from you and in case you are right in case you are doing everything right there is no reason they will not you know uh, open your account they will definitely open your account so don't panic don't abuse amazon that's my first instruction to you instruction number 2 do not write long stories when you are drafting a plan of action stories does not work we are not writing any children story or children's book or authoring a book you are writing a plan of action no stories please uh number 3 number 3 don'ts don't get disappointed if your first poa gets rejected more than 90% of the first poa gets rejected so don't get disappointed for that matter keep pushing in you will get through four don't lose hope hope even amazon says we will not respond to emails further see something happens you follow up for one twice three and amazon says we will not respond to you further don't lose hope they will now they might take time they will not take into they will not take take your case as a priority case now but they will okay don't lose hope number 5 do not share any emotions it doesn't work like i've seen uh, some sellers selling uh, sending a poa uh, you know my home my entire family is dependent on this business my mother is not well my father is hospitalized 
I need funds. Maybe I've got 40 people to feed in uh, staff as salary, and they have their own families to cater to. How how I'm going to you know manage these expenses and all that stuff. Uh, I'm sorry to say, it doesn't work. This is a professional business done professionally. Your emotions has no place here. Emotions are good if you're doing everything good. Your account is active. You're getting your payments. Do whatever you want to do with these payments. So these are the simple, simple things. Please do not use all this stuff. Now let's come. What should you use while drafting your effective POA? Number one, please research well about the issue at hand. Research it well. When I'm saying research it, it means you really need to research it. Why this happened to you. Number two, gather all the facts and statistics while drafting your POA. Number three, please use bullet points. Do not use paragraphs. Number four, answer for everything, whatever they ask for when they send you a mail. Answer everything. Don't leave anything unattended. In case they have uh, put a question to, uh, they have given you two separate cases like for one ASN you got an IPC complaint, for one ASN there is an inauthentic complaint and uh, so you need to answer separately for both the cases. You cannot generalize or you cannot just answer one, leave the other. No, you have to answer for each and every aspect of whatever they are asking for. Number five. Do not shy away taking professional help if you are unsure about drafting this POA. See, do not shy away. There are so many professionals there available in the market who are doing it. But again, you need to be very, very cautious while doing it. Because I being on the seller side of it, I'm, I'm, and I have seen uh, how POA has been made and being sent and why they are getting rejected. One, you need to choose wisely. That's what my simple submission is. Because you are unique, so is the plan. At this point, I would like to share that, uh, you know, I also help sellers to draft an effective POA. And of course, it's a chargeable basis. Choose wisely, whatever, wherever you go, choose wisely. You are unique. Your plan has to be unique. Uh, I don't draft POA early. You, you get, if anybody have, you have ever get in touch with me, I take time. I take maybe two days, three days, four days of time to draft a POA. Reason being, I keep questioning you. I keep questioning. I keep questioning you. Unless and until I get to a point that I have something substantial in coming in from you to draft this POA. Else I will not be able to draft a POA. If you, if you ask me, uh, just draft a POA in six hours, I will not do it. For the simple reason, I don't know you first. I need to know you. I need to know your case. And Amazon has given you the time. So please utilize that time. Don't hush up. Don't use copy-paste drafts because again, you will not get any, any advantage in doing so. Number six, there's a service called Monitor and Product Service. So you can uh, get the link below the description. Or I, I'll, I'm sharing the link on the screen also. Monitor and uh, product service is being offered by X Amazonians. They're based in UK. Global service for any Amazon marketplace. The charges are approximately 18,000 rupees in Indian currency per month and 200 pounds globally, if you say. So they take 200 pounds from you. They put your account on surveillance 24 by 7. They will monitor each and every, every aspect of your account. When you are uh, getting rated by customer, positive, negative, when you're getting mapped, uh, in case something is going wrong in your account, which might lead to suspension, you will get alerts and you will be notified and you will get help in drafting a POA. They give you free POA because you are a subscriber to them and your account goes into complete surveillance. So you can use this service in case you think the charges are appropriate for you. Your sales are like this. You don't want to lose on. Plus you get a insurance amount i think they they have a video on insurance they provide 50000 pounds as an insurance amount to you that means they have reserve money in case your account gets suspended for two days of time and you have got some expenses with you to pay like salaries are there your supplier bills are there you can definitely take that insurance amount and make those that make those payments so that is a service they are offering you can check out this link on the screen now and uh, on the description box also this particular plan is available for a free trial of 30 days. 
So uh, there's another link, there's a Google form which is given uh, below this uh, description box. You can use that box and uh, apply for a free 30 days trial. So explore it, use it for 30 days and you will see how exactly this plan is working for you or maybe this plan can work for you. Okay, so these are the do's while you're drafting your POAs. Let's move further. Now comes to the drafting part of the uh, PO. Now you got the do don'ts, now you got the do's. Now let's understand how to draft an effective POA. So step number one, POA is nothing but a process of persuasion. You need to persuade Amazon that, okay, I am worthy. I am legitimate. Take me back. That's, that's a persuasion process you need to bring to the table with your document called POA. Now, while you're drafting your POA, there are basically four elements to draft an effective POA. Element number one of your POA. Element number one is the root cause analysis of the problem. Now, when I did my Six Sigma, I'm a, I'm a yellow belt professional. I did Six Sigma long back, I think 2006, I completed my Six Sigma. In Six Sigma, we learned a technique called 5Y analysis. And I want you to use this technique here. Root cause analysis. First, why this has happened? Why you received this complaint? Then, when you, when you understand the first why of it, go to the second why. Why you have received this comment? Okay, this is the reason. That is why this has happened. Then another why. Then another why. And then another why. So there has to be a five why analysis. Why, 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 why you draft your POA. Do a complete drill down that why this has happened. Why you have mapped somebody. Why you have traded, uh, why you have used Apple name when you are not supposed to use it. Why uh, the customer is saying that you have sold him an older product, but it was a new product. So you need to do this 5 y analysis and come back with a concrete why attached to it while drafting your POA. So write your root cause analysis. Number two. Now, Amazon is interested in, in knowing from you that what steps you have already taken before applying for reinstatement. Most of the people get this wrong. They write a uh, fictitious word that, okay, we'll, uh, we have already we have removed the listing and now uh, we'll not be sell anymore. We'll be destroying that item. We'll be doing this. We'll be doing this. See, it is not a future tense article. This is something which you have already done. Mention every single aspect of your uh, you know business problem what you're facing right now what you have already done okay right what has been done like it could be a product and listing removal yes it could be a refund to the customers which has been made proactively okay it could be anything depending on your situation and your case let's come to the step number three Step number three of drafting your PO is steps you are taking to prevent the similar event in future to come. Now your future has come up. Okay. What steps have you taken now? Suppose you are receiving a complaint where so many safety claims are getting raised. So you need to work on your packaging well. You really need to get into an Amazon authorized packing or some, some packing manufacturer. Give them those pictures that what implement, what changes you are going to implement now and get your account back. Because... Now, Amazon is interested. Once they've seen you, these two things from you, the third thing you would like to know from you is what exactly you're going to do for future. And that also includes what you're going to do with your future customer complaints also in case uh, right now they are, you're suspended, but you might have sold the product 10 days back also. You, you may get another complaint from a customer. What exactly you're going to do for that thing? What exactly you're going to do that this particular thing will not get repeated? Okay, so all these things Amazon wants to know from you. And number four is you need to give a conclusion to your case. Stating above, this is the summary, this is the gist, this is the conclusion of the whole case that we are selling only authentic products and we, we have uh, shared our plan of action with you and sharing the uh, invoices and copies with you. Okay. And then the next element of drafting your POA is all the att attachments. So, all the proofs, all the documents, as they ask, 365 days of time, invoices, matching inventory, whatever they're asking for, just attach. That's part of your process. Okay, let me just close this note now. How to get sample drafts? See, uh, sample drafts, the best place, what I can suggest you, yes, there are a lot of available in Google, you can get that done. 
and you can go to seller university also uh, but again my only request is don't copy paste there's no point copy paste doesn't work the today's scenario is not for copy pasting you can only get ideas i've already shared the four steps with you these four steps you need to make just four bullet points just four headlines and then the bullet points of it has to follow while you draft your poa okay now i would like to share some more important information regarding your account suspension and poa please take a note of it because this can help you a long way important information number 1 you have only 3 to 5 minutes for your case i'm sure now most of you are shocked to hear this up you just have a time of 3 to 5 minutes to represent your case that is why i always say don't write long stories nobody is here to listen to long story they are interested into your bullet points the only time allowed with one you know uh, reviewer is 3 to 5 minutes per case so you need to be giving your case in such a excellent and precise manner it gets done or gets rejected in 3 to 5 minutes see if it is not getting done it's almost rejected so you need to ensure that it is getting done for done i have already shared the steps with you please follow them follow each and every step what i have shared with you number 2 amazon is looking for specifics and not generics i have already shared with you use specific bullet points don't give any generic statements it doesn't work number 3 the target with any amazon reviewer is to review and not to reinstate in case you think that they have a target that today they have to reinstate 100 or they have to just suspend 100 sorry it doesn't work like this they do have targets the targets are there on their their own kpis the kpis are all about reviewing all about ticket closing all about you know considering the cases which have come to them and not just to reinstate they don't have any target for reinstate in reinstatement so do not be in any kind of uh, you know situation or any kind of pre assumption that if they are reviewing it they are all reinstating it sorry your case speaks it all okay number 4 uh you know sometimes it might take them to respond back to you up to 7 days although they say they will be responding back in 1 to 2 days they do also they do also in 1 to 2 days but you know imagining a situation like you got uh, black friday sale coming in in case you are selling in us and in case in india the diwali sale coming up great indian sale coming up the moment you are into a sales mode the amazon in sales mode amazon well aware that lot of uh, mappers will come up and lot of fake selling would happen so they will activate their ai system so strongly in these sale periods and uh, even bots can uh, unblock you even bots can block you not even human even bots can block you so uh, do not panic they might take time because the queue gets longer during the sale period so queue gets longer hence your case might also take longer so stay calm you will get a response number 5 uh, i do agree that replies are almost auto drafted you know that same copy paste everybody says amazon keeps sending copy paste mail copy paste mail copy paste mail but the fact here is even the copy paste text or the draft you are receiving is sent by human some human is reviewing your case and uh, bases the templates uh, available with them they just share it with you that might not uh, be relevant to you 100% but that is something the executive wants to say that something from this template only is missing and that's why they are not able to take action always remember even that copy paste text is being sent by a human and in case you are the one who are who are continuously abusing amazon for one thing or the other my only request is this is their territory follow the rules play it wisely get paid nice make it a long life future for you okay and the last thing before i wind up this video is in case you need my help in drafting a suitable plan of action for you you need to connect on my facebook messenger the link i'm giving in the description below and you can type poa the moment you type poa and my messenger will respond back to you i'll get in touch with you and uh, 
I'll try my best to give you a suitable draft because I work on case to case only. And in case uh, now you are wanting a copy of this particular mind map, so you want to retain a copy of this mind map, what I would uh, request you again go to my Facebook Messenger, the link is below in the description box. Type P O A mind map just type this word p o a mind map you type this word and this pdf will be provided to you in a matter of few seconds okay so i hope you uh, like this particular video i hope you will get some help by watching this video you will be now if writing an effective plan of action taking the actions whatever is required learning more i wish you all the good luck and success Take action, sell more, sell the best, keep learning, keep innovating, keep growing yourself. Thank you and bye-bye.